Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So as you notice, we've advanced the timeline slightly and Hogweed's injured. Um, I went ahead and did a mission and I thought I was recording and I got to the end and realized I wasn't recording at all. Um, we took uh, the um, contract for, to uh, repossess the vehicles, which was one and a half skull against the Jade Falcon clan mechs. And we did okay. We, we managed to pull that off without a problem. There was just one assault mech, or sorry, one assault uh, vehicle, and then there was a lance of light mechs and uh, two uh, light vehicles and one medium vehicle, so it wasn't really that difficult. We ended up getting a few parts of of, um, uh, of mechs and a bunch of clan gear. Nothing ama absolutely amazing. We got some clan endosteel, a clan XL engine, um, a few other things. So uh, I really apologize for missing recording that episode. I've been kind of struggling the past couple of days. Um, but we will uh, be taking a, a bigger mission today. We're going to go to the contracts. We're going to jump right into one right now. Um, hopefully this records without a problem. I'm sure we'll find out sh soon enough. But we're going to take a three skull mission today. Uh, we're going to take logistical breakdown, ambush a convoy against Clan Goliath Scorpion. And we're going to go full salvage on this, I think. Um, I think we're okay for our financial reports. So I'm not really worried about that. So let's go full salvage and accept this. Plus, we got we picked up a Clan XL engine in the other episode. So, and as you can see here, our lance is in the in the uh, slot still. So we're going to need our Zeus, our Warhammer, our Catapult, and our Wolverine. And we want cold metal. We want hickory. We want. Um, I think we want Riddler again and Pylon. So we're going to go this route and deploy and get this sucker done. Alright, here we go. Hate this map, but we'll reserve my opinion for later. Well, this is a hell hole. Yeah, I say the same thing. Okay, so the uh, enemy's going to be moving along here. They got to get to here to get out. If reinforcements happen, they're going to come over here. So we got to be careful, be careful, and be wary of that. Uh, it's kind of nice that this hills here, in one instance, because it's not. I mean, there's places to hide, but in another, really, you want to be targeting them along this stretch here. It's a nice open area. You can take some high ground and kill them, but then their mechs come up this way and can flank you. So you just have to be kind of careful here. Orders. Not that I'm worried about it, but we'll see what happens. So um, Pylon here will only be going after vehicles if uh, they're fast and they have a tendency to get, a, get away from us. I want to keep them on the max, keep them off balance. It is a three skull mission, so I could be come up, coming up against anything. And obviously focusing fire is going to be the most important thing here as well. Going full throttle. Be interested to see how we do heat wise as well. Yeah, I love the speed on this uh, catapult. We could lower the engine. I want to put. I'd like to be able to put the the other Thunderbolt twenty on this guy, but it's a lot of weight, so don't think it's going to be that possible. Ready for orders. Okay, I want to get you down in here. See where we got our targets. Sensors have something. Okay, they're moving really slow, except for this vehicle, which concerns me. These are probably much heavier vehicles. At least this guy will rush up ahead. I don't see any mechs here, so my guess is that they're they've got heavier mechs defending. It's interesting I don't see any vehicles at all. Or any mechs at all, I mean. That's a 40 tonner. It was, anyway. Oh, they're vehicle guards. Um, didn't yeah. see that coming. Let's move. 
Okay, we got side of the road now. It's always a good thing. Don't want this guy to get too close. He'll definitely be targeted. We've only got 10 rounds too, so okay. Heavy mech most likely. Could be an assault too. Find out soon enough, I guess. Actually, let's stay on the road here. Good thing we got speed here. All right, it's backing up. That's probably one of the guards then. ATMs, I guess, or MMLs. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. We're gonna reserve. Just waiting for the shot. Ah, sleep nears. Definitely squashable. Another one. Definitely squashable. So I'm wondering if these are all of the, uh... Huh. So they got two vehicles protecting? At least? Yeah, two vehicles and a mech so far. Three vehicles and a mech. Okay. That's interesting. This is supposed to be a three skull, so I thought it would be a heck of a lot more difficult than this, but we're gonna attack this guy from the front. We wanna keep our front to the enemy. Come on, finish him up. Nice. You should be saying scratch the first target. Enemy vehicle. Whatever. What do I know? I'm just some guy. Just some guy. Roger. Yeah, we're really, really, really heat neutral here. Hopefully we can finish this guy up. We'll fire with everything. Ah. I'm ready. Don't think we have to worry about uh, arrow ammo for this. Just gonna fire it. Look at that. 93% chance to hit. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Of course you are. Like enemy reinforcements. Probably right back here. Yep. Great. Okay, that's bullshit. I call total bullshit on that. I can't take much more of this. I know. Well, you know, they did spawn absolutely behind you, so Wow. Good thing we had no way to detect that they were there. Okay, it's gonna be a fight. Gonna be a fight. What else do they have here? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, Christ. Oh, we know who we're after next. Um. Just gonna shoot on this guy. Gonna fire everything. Okay, it's a start. We need to go right in on these guys now. What's this guy? Friggin' mad? It's a marauder. It's a clan marauder. Yep. Oh, they better miss. Oh, for Christ's sake. I'm losing weapon systems. I'm 
under heavy fire. Yep, I know. I didn't think it was that going to be that easy, did I? All right, what next? We gotta push that arrow system. Yes, Commander. And we can't afford it. I mean, not sprinting. Wow. Um. Look at the LRMs on this guy too. Let's try and get out of here in good faith. Okay, we're gonna try and blow up the vehicles. Okay, that's one. One more for the trash heap. Here comes the missiles. Hooray for that. Uh, I guess he's trying to manage heat. Losing lots of armor. Warning. Armor low. Aye, aye. Okay, let's get back here. Targeting this guy. Fire. Attacking from position. Just not enough. I might be able to finish this up with the uh, Zeus. Okay, Marauder's moving first, thank goodness. Hopefully he can't see me. Can I not get eyes on? Ah, it's a tough choice. Let's do it. If we're going to do this, we got to do this. Okay, now we can we just withdraw. Enemy unit we can just withdraw now. Oh man. That's awful. Okay, what does the joust got on it? Nothing worthwhile. Alright, we're out of here. Well, it's not a disappointing result. Yeah, we lost the Wolverine.
I mean, the fact that those guys showed up behind me, what the hell? I mean, what the hell? <sighs> Good faith effort. Well, we did destroy the convoy. That's what they wanted, so. Didn't lose that much. Well, we did on the Wolverine. There goes the mask. Fuck. At least pylon's still okay. That's the most important thing. Um, okay, it doesn't look like we lost the Wolverine. Ultra 10 is definitely something we could use. Uh, yeah. Let's go that route, I guess. Wow. Large ER pulse, not bad. Not bad at all. Large ER pulse. Really? Four times 22 damage? That's interesting. Six tons. It is more splash damage, though. Yep. Oh, man. Well, Wolverine's out of action for a while anyway. Wow. 22 days. Yeah, let's leave it up there. Got to get that sucker done. Let's uh, just move forward. What's this? Hey, Commander. No step plenty restricted. Yeah, let's move some lasers off off site. Gain thirty six thousand. Hey, yeah, we we've got underworld friends for ninety days. Cool. All right, let's move forward. Get the warhammer back here, and then uh, take another mission here. All right, so um, with the Wolverine gone or out of action. Let's have a look at the uh, mech bay. I don't think we lost anything else off that. Could have been a lot worse, I think. Um, I'm glad we pulled out when we did. Let's put this guy in storage now. Um, I'm glad we pulled out when we did. It could have been a lot worse. A lot worse. We do have the Shadowhawk, though. Uh, we'll move that forward until we can get the Wolverine refitted with something. Um, so let's go to the contract, see what else we got we can take today. Um... Let's try Noisy Neighbors. It's two and a half. Hopefully now um, we won't be facing two lances right away. Maybe it'd just be one lance. But let's negotiate this sucker out. And ah, uh, let's go. Let's go fifty-fifty. We're gonna need some sea bills for sure for the end of the month. We're gonna go fifty-fifty just in case we take some damage on this one. All right, so I'm going to swap these two around. I think I want Hickory and the yeah, Catapult here. And let's bring the Shadowhawk in for Pylon to run. Um, the other thing we could do is we could run the Bushwhacker instead. And rather than having a melee mech, we could just go all firepower. Um, but I think I like the idea of being able to destabilize people here. So let's do that. Let's go this route. Oh, good. Okay. So this was the map that we did that uh, vehicle mission on that I forgot to record. I still can't believe I did that. All right, let's see what we can get done here. Wonder if they'll have reinforcements. Standing by. We know how we like to play this one. We're gonna do the same again. Yep. Let's move. I mean, technically, we could reduce the uh, speed on the catapult. That was a what? 65? 85 tonner. So it's probably only gonna be one lance. I hope. Let's pull this 85 ton tonner down real quick if we can. They've got enhanced sensors, obviously. This guy's got some good speed here. 20 tonner. OK, 
Okay, that's good news. Okay. A light, two mediums, and a heavy. This guy's trying to get eyes on. I don't like it when people try and get eyes on. Alright, let's get eyes on him first. Probably a locust. Yep. Hmm. It's supposed to be a clan, but it doesn't look like it's clan tech. XL engine. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, nice. Don't like having noisy neighbors here. 55 and 55. What do you need? Yeah. <laughs> it's pr pretty good chance with the without even getting eyes on. Uh, let's just walk it. On it. Since we can't really shoot anybody else anyway, might as well just fire on this guy. <laughs> oh, yes, I love that weapon. Mech destroyed. We had a chance to pick up two more there, that last I'm last one, but I was like, as soon as the Wolverine went down, it's like, nope. We lost too much money. There wasn't there wasn't enough salvage we could have gotten to stay around there. If the Wolverine was up and running, I probably would have stayed. Because I could have just closed with the arrow, the Naga, right away. But that's not how it worked out, unfortunately. So, 55 tonners, let's reserve. Holding for tactical advantage. Even if he sees me, he's only going to see me for a second because we're going right after this 85 tonner. Let's reserve again. Waiting for my opening. Yeah, they got better cock. They got improved cockpit, so they can see us earlier. That's fine. All right. Uh, let's get eyes on. Let's put his back against the wall here. Zeus clan. Hey, buddy, we're twins. Except I have a better loadout than you. Half 40. Not bad. Two me clan heavy mediums and two ATMs. I had those. Not anymore, though. What's my chance to hit here? Yeah. Let's do this early. Oh, did I confirm that? I didn't confirm that, did I? We can't get direct sight on this guy, can we? Orders. What's up, boss? You can get in here, though. Hit him from the front, please. Moving out. Knockdown. Nice. Okay, let's just get up. Uh, oh, we can get target on here. <gasps> nice. Kind of shocked because, like, I can't really see him on. Like, I don't know. If he was standing up, maybe, but. Um, let's go after this torso. Or we could just shoot everything to the center torso too. That's good. Ooh, that hit something good. Did we I think he lost all those Goss ammo. Where's the Goss rifle? No, it's probably in this arm. No, it looks like he's got eight rounds left. Okay. Yep. Roger. I love how we just don't even need to move up. 75% chance. Unsettled. You just got hit with an arrow system, dude. How can you just be unsettled? Okay, what do we got here? Wolverine 2. It'd be nice to be able to pick up one of these guys. Okay, we're going to reserve. Waiting for the shot. 
I want to know what my entire tactical situation is. Another one. Yeah, they could, these guys aren't tricked out with any kind of melee ability, so... Hit, pretty short, too. Uh... You are the wind. Alright. Start on this guy. Goes his auto cannon. I think these guys have ultra fives, don't they? Yeah, they do. So this guy doesn't have any now. Alright, uh, Hickory. Let's move. Don't need to sprint, just move it over. Just in case one of those guys decides to come down and target you. Uh, God. Does it matter which one? Okay, that's it for that. That's it for that guy. That one's gone. Yes, Commander. Position confirmed. Putting my weight into it. Nice. Eh, can't always hit with those, that's fine. Miss. So if we do an offensive push on this guy... Mm, what's his torso at? 10. Ah, uh, we're bound to hit that torso anyway some of these guys. Yeah. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. I don't want both of them to go before before the uh, rest of my guys here. I, I don't know what that was for. That was a terrible attack. See if we can knock this guy down. Reporting critical hit. There we go. Down to two health. What do you need? Understood. Ha. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you just don't don't turn your back guys whatever you do you just don't do it it's not worth it all right this guy's got 58 in this torso let's go for the torso and let's not go crazy we don't need to go crazy on this let's go something like that There we go. Enemy down. That wasn't too bad. Alright, that felt good after that last mission. That's going to give us the cash we need to repair the Wolverine, kind of. Uh, although we don't have the gear for the re repairs, but that'll we'll, we'll get that eventually. Didn't take any substan substantial damage at all. Catapult claiming three victories on that one. Uh... Look at all these Wolverine parts. Hopefully we get a few. We didn't take much on this. The ATM-12 was really nice. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, Clan Exchanger. Defense Gyro. Uh, I think the Clan Exchanger is a have-to-have. Um, it's definitely the value of it is, like, ridiculous. So this is actually really good too, but I think the exchanger is probably better than most things right now. So we're just going to go with the exchanger. Let's confirm this. So we've got two more Wolverine parts, which means we're in range of picking up a Wolverine 2 um, clan version, which would be nice. And a Zeus part, which is kind of nice too. So enemy impulse, eh, no big deal. Oh, 6R, what? 
called Wolverine 2. Carries similar weapon loadout, but enhanced Star League's superior technology. Improved cooling. Cool. That's awesome. I didn't know we had enough parts for that. 21,000. Really? I guess... Because it's not a 2C, I guess it's just considered a regular Wolverine. Let's check that out. So now we can pull out the Wolverine R, which was slower. Um, we got the core still. Nice. Ferrofibrous. What do we say about it? This case? SRM ammo. Double heatsink core. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm kind of happy about this. Now, what do we have is in the way of hard points? Ballistic on this side. Laser in the head. We don't have any support points. So we can't turn this guy into a melee mech. Ah, that's really stinky. But, you know, let's strip all the gear off it. Which means we have a double heatsink fusion core we can use on somebody. Um, and we picked up that clan exchanger, so that's, you know, taking care of our heat problems very nice. Uh, yeah, so let's get this guy set up here. I think we're going to have to probably, in order to get the Wolverine 1R back up and running, we may have to pull... Um, some of the stuff off of the uh, Shadowhawk. I don't know, I haven't decided. Uh, but that, I think that's going to probably, well, I don't know. This Firestarter is nice for shutting people down. Um, I have to figure out what our new loadout is going to end up being after this. But I think we're probably going to jump systems now. Um, so we'll do that between episodes. Uh, let's manage our tasks a bit here. Regular will be back in 11 days. Five. So all these guys are going congruently. So let's move up this guy. Let's move up this guy. Huh. How do we want to do this here? Yeah, that's right. Everything will be back in 11 days. Because we have three, three bays working. So in seven days, this one will be back. And then... Uh, do we want to go... This way. So three days we have these two back. I think we do. Let's go that route. Um, and I don't think it'll matter because we're jumping systems anyway. I'm just trying to maxim maximize the efficiency of the base. So, um, yeah, we're going to leave it there. If you like this episode, uh, please drop a like. Also, put some comments down in the comments below. How do you think we should uh, fix the Wolverine? Um... For melee, I'm thinking that we cannibalize the Shadowhawk. We might have a few other parts that we can use, but I'm thinking cannibalizing parts from the Shadowhawk right now will probably help out with the Wolverine. So we'll probably end up doing that. That will weaken the Shadowhawk as a melee mech, but I don't know. We'll have to see if we actually need another one. We probably do, which might end up being the Wolverine too, but with no support points, this is probably going to end up, I don't know, just being a, a replacement for the Phoenix Hawk most likely, um, depending on how we can load it out. All right, so we'll leave it there. Um, until next time, we'll see everybody later.